the raptors are attacking. Go on, lads. Oh, they're throwing stuff at us as well. Go on, boys. And let Gorosaurus tank all the damage. Only fans will die. This is Grog. And that, that is trying to eat Grog. Unfortunately, Grog does not live in the Skyrim that you lads and lasses are familiar with. He lives in Skyrim, but a million years in the past. Yeah, this prehistoric Skyrim might look beautiful, but unfortunately, this land is packed full of Grog-eating dinosaurs. You see, in today's video, we're gonna help Grog complete three hardy challenges, hoping to help him survive, thrive, and kill in this extremely hostile world. Our mission? To ultimately answer the age-old question, can you survive Skyrim during the Jurassic area? So sit back, relax, get some snacks, and get ready for a prehistoric adventure that's dynamite. Yeah, that's the first and last pun I'm using, um, so don't worry. Anyway. You see, Grog is a very basic early age man. He can run, fight, and throw things, but other than that, there's not really much going on upstairs. And I'm pretty much a hypocrite saying that because it's basically me. In our first challenge, we will need to help Grog harvest supplies to build a campsite, go hunting for some food, whilst preferably trying not to die. Hello there. Right. I believe I have just found the perfect spot. Come here, little spider. Yes! No more messes with Grog. Grog killed big spider. This is my home now, not yours. Right, let me harvest these annoying loud ass nern roots. But yeah, I think this is a it's a perfect place for a little camp. Let's put our campfire right about there. That sound that looks perfect. Lovely stuff. Grog is on his way to become an absolute genius. Now, what we need to do is we need to harvest and gather necessary items and ingredients, obviously, to survive. Now, in order to do that, we can just go up to branches, etc. And there we go, gather branches. So we'll gather some of those. Thank you very much. So I've got six branches. Now what we can do with those branches is we can go and build stone hatchet. Oh, sh I'm getting attacked. That's why I'm in combat. Go on there, big man. You're no match for Grog. Stone hatchet, right in the neck. Well, thank you very much anyway, Wolf, for, uh, I mean, what have you got? You got Wolf Pelt, so yeah, I'll, I'll take some of that. Thank you very much. You can have a little swim in there. <laughs> um, but as I was saying, anyway, what we can do is we can go and build a bed. Let's say, yeah, that's a good spot, isn't it? Yeah, that will do. Uh, but yes, this is the, the perfect little setup. Now, we do need to make some tools, i.e. we need to make a bow. And in order to do that, we will have to chop down some wood. As you can tell, this game is very similar to Ark Survival or, for God's sakes, Minecraft. Because <laughs> you've got to get stone tools to then harvest wood. Uh, but if we just gather some dead wood up, perfect. We should have enough now for a longbow, which is excellent. So we'll get some of that. Now, stone arrows. Thank you very much. Grog needs to go and hunt for some more animals. Now, there was that deer over here, which I believe we were trying to get. Alright, I'd say about there. Lovely. One more, quickly. Oh! Oh, no way. Go on. Oh! I'm getting attacked. The elk is actually trying to attack me. He's stuck on a tree, though. Poor you. Well, that'll do. Thank you very much. Oh, no. Is that what I think it is? <laughs> is that a T-Rex, I see? Um, do I attack it? That is the question. I mean, it's just me. Let's give it a go. <laughs> oh, my days. He's got loads of health. Okay. Oh, no. He's coming. He's coming. That's that's ridiculously powerful. Oh no! Oh my days, he's terrifying. <laughs> he's, he's, he's terrifying. Run, Grog. I'm gonna have to just run around. And a good old cheese. Is he trapped? 
my days. Get out of the way, dear. Oh, my days, you can climb trees. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Wrong grog. Yes! He's morphed into the floor though. Oh my days. Well done, Grog. He's got a heart. He's got loads of meat. Yeah, I'll take all of that. Thank you very much. Well, it's definitely safe to say that Grog, um, even though he still looks like he's got a really angry face, it's safe to say that Grog definitely has completed challenge number one. After having successfully claimed the land by setting up a camp and killing the local competition, it was safe to say that Grog has learned the basic survival skills needed to survive. But there was one more vital thing that Grog needed. A wife. Luckily for Grog, once every year, all the local bachelors, young and old, meet up to make a pilgrimage through Dinosaur Valley. Their goal? You guessed it to fight their way through various carnivorous dinosaurs to reach a lonely single maiden. The last one to survive proves that they are strong enough to be a suitable candidate for that lucky bachelorette. As you can imagine, this is the perfect time for Grog to prove himself as a survivor and also prove that he's a fitting husband. Right, I believe this cave system is the meeting point for all bachelors. Boneyard Southeast. Ah, uh, yes. Hello, young bachelors. I have arrived to come and join you in this quest to get a wife. Oh, native studs. <laughs> okay. Yes, yes, you're very strong, my friend. Native stud. Are you all native studs? Oh, only fans model. Blimey. Even Jurassic Skyrim is not safe from you creatures. Well, I hope you guys can fight as well as you strip down. Uh, because I'm not going to lie. Pretty much all of us are going to die here, but I won. Right, lads. Let's go and do this. May the best bachelor and OnlyFans model win. Let's go. Oh, that's a nice snail. Anyway, I can't get distracted by stupid side quests. There we are. There's a, our first creature we must destroy. <laughs> oh, what throw. Get him, boys. Get him. Bring him down, lads. Bring him down. Get out of the way, snail. Whoa. Oh, no. The raptors are attacking. We've got raptors attacking, lads. Let's get the bow out. Yes. He's down. He went flying. Bring that raptor down, lads. Bring it down. Oh, what are you? Oh. Oh. Bye bye, mate. I think that was the only fans model. <laughs> That's it, lads. Teamwork. You know, at the end, we're not going to be a team. Whoa! <laughs> it's out of the park. Oh my days! Imagine that. Just that landing on your head. Oh! Blimey! Oh no! He came out of nowhere! Where did he come from? That's it, Grog. Use a special technique of being a coward. Keeping as far away as you possibly can. And let them all do the close work. Just so they can die. This guy's got the same. Is that native? Oh no, it's an OnlyFans model. Of course. Oh my days, everyone's getting sparked. Come on, lads, you can do it. You can do it. Last one. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> yeah, I think that's um, that's probably a glitch. I'm not going to lie. Right, let's do a quick road call. How many of us are left? There's f four? Yes, I guess there's just there's just four of us left. So we have the OnlyFans model, a native stud. Oh, blimey. Two of the OnlyFans models have survived. <laughs> How? How has that even happened? Oh well, let's go. 
I don't think we're uh, that far away. Oh, that was that uh, dinosaur that we saw absolutely launch in, into midair. Blimey, that must have made, made quite a crash when it landed. What are they? What are they? Are they little, little raptors? Oh, my dear, it is. Is it? Oh, nice job, guys. Oh, my days. Oh, instant kill. Only fans model. <laughs> you're not good enough, my friend. And you're like a coward. You don't deserve to be a yeah, only fans model. Of course. Their hands. Let's do it. Oh. Bring it down. Yes. Oh no. Oh, this is the only fans model. And me still alive. Belie me. Unfortunately, I'm gonna take Oh, he's got a he's got a jewel on him. Maybe he was planning to give that to his future wife. Well, my friend, you're not alive anymore, so you don't need that. So I'm I'm gonna take that. Now it's just me and the only fans model. <laughs> the last two remaining. Who will get the wife? And I believe she is around this corner. Right. Ah, we've made it. Hello, my dear. Um, blimey, you've you've killed two bears already. Okay, you're a very strong lady. Ten out of ten wife material. Hello. <laughs> now, there is two of us left, um, as you can see. So, uh, there's only one sort of way we can deal with this, my friend. And uh, I think you probably know what way that is. Yes! <laughs> Cheap shot. You're an OnlyFans model. You don't deserve it. Hello, wifey. Need something? Yes, I need you to marry me. Grog has made his way from simple early age man to a dino killing married legend. But that isn't enough. Grog wants more. He wants to become king. To crown himself king of this area, he will need to eliminate the most powerful leader that's located in a fort nearby. To do that, he'll first have to raise an army and try to tame a wild dinosaur. Because, you know, having a pet dinosaur sounds pretty cool. Right, wifey, we need to go and raise an army. But um, to do that, I reckon it'll be easier for us to go and tame a wild dinosaur. Because, I mean, you know, turning up to a little party with a wild dinosaur, everyone's going to follow your orders. We can almost force them into joining our cause. Uh, oh, yes, her name is Grogette, by the way. Uh, very suiting name for a wife of Grog. Now, uh, let's go and see if we can tame a wild T-Rex. That should be quite interesting. Now, in order to tame a T-Rex, we are going to need some meat. Now, the good thing is, on our way here, Mrs. Grogette, we killed quite a few dinosaurs to get to you. So, what I might do is I might just carve off a bit of their meat to give to the T-Rex. And hopefully he'll like it. I mean, I could feed him his own brethren. Uh, but I might get the... Oh, Triceratops. It might be better. But, uh, oh, hello, little creature. Let's see how good you are. The wife of Grog. <laughs> One hit. Blimey, you are a beast, aren't you? Yeah. I love that. Right, this is where we started off from. And obviously we went up there to uh, to find you, Grogette. What are you doing? Oh, you're a little bit stuck. Um, but this is the way, I believe, that we haven't explored. And I think there is a T-Rex down here. I saw a glimpse of it on our way in. Ah, yes, I can see the T-Rex right there. Now, I'm going to leave you right here, Grogette, just because I know for a fact that if I walk over there, you'll probably try and attack him. So if you stay right there, and I'll um, hopefully come back with a T-Rex. All right, I've taken all of my armor off for this, just so I'm extra silent. I'll just try and feed the beast. Do you want to try and tame this animal? Yes, please. Yes! <laughs> Yes, we have a T-Rex, lads. We have a T-Rex. Fight for me, T-Rex. <laughs> yes! No one's going to defeat Grog now and his massive T-Rex and his absolute weapon of a wife. Now, I was thinking, obviously, because you're Grogette, my wife, and we've got another like, pet dinosaur, or pet T-Rex, <laughs> I believe we should call him... Grogosaurus. I think that's only fair. There's no way we're going to lose and there's no way we're not going to become king and queen if we run around with a pet T-Rex. Isn't that right, big man? 
exactly. All right, we've made it back to camp, and uh, it believes there are some uh, people here. Oh, hello. You've killed Bristleback. Um, who are you, anyway? Native studs. Ah, did you miss the the ceremony? Did we get, did we leave without you to try find this beautiful creature right here? I guess we did. Oh, there's an OnlyFans model, blimey. Well, lads, if you're looking for work, I have the perfect work for you. You can be my personal guard, along with these amazing creatures right here. Um, don't be alarmed. Um, although it looks very scary, it won't eat you. Unless you annoy me, then I'll make it eat you. Well, I guess this is our army. Right, I believe we've made it to the fort. There's a watchtower over there, but I can't see anyone manning it, so we should be fine just to walk past. But yes, there it is. The king is somewhere in there. He does have some sons we do need to eliminate as well in there. Just to obviously claim the land, just wipe out all their bloodline, and then claim that uh, castle. Yes, isn't that right, Grogette? And Grogosaurus. Uh, where's our other Grog Knights, anyway? Oh, yes, I've decided to call them Grog Knights, by the way. This is the perfect name for our troops. And we'll be going against, obviously, this native <coughs> pretender clan. I mean, I'm surprised they can't just see a, um, a dinosaur from there, anyway. But hey-ho. Right. Lads, lasses, and dinosaurs. I hope you're all ready. Because this is the fight of our lives. We are going to become the royals in this world, and if any of you does survive, I'll adopt you. Even you, only fans model, even though I don't really don't like your profession. I'll adopt you and you can be my sons. Time to destroy and become king. They're charging us. Go on, lads. Oh, they're throwing stuff at us as well. Go on, boys. Yes. Oh, <laughs> I'm flying. If I stand back and let Glorosaurus tank all the damage, only fans more will die. Come on, lads. This is our fort, and this is our land. Get away. I'm not gonna lie, I've got no idea who's on whose team right now. <laughs> I'm just gonna go for anyone who's attacking my wife. Okay, so all the people in the red. Yes! Oh! Blimey, my wife is ridiculously strong. Push through, lads, push through! Yes! Go on, lads, we've made it through, we've made it through! Kill them! Kill all that remain, yes! Scare them away! Wife is taking all the hits. You don't even have a weapon, my friend! I mean, she's so powerful. <laughs> oh my days. Right, I think all have been killed by the king. Now, I think, is that the king over there? There's one person left, and that, I believe, is King Brogo. Come on, then, king. Come and face me and my army. Yes! <laughs> yes! King Brogo was no match. Well, it's safe to say that with all these arrows embedded into my skull and my body, <laughs> that we have done it. And you as well, wifey. Blimey. Oh, you've got one right in your eye as well, look. Oh, amazing. You are the strongest woman ever, I tell you. And you, Grogosaurus, you are an absolute monster. And we've completed it. <laughs> we are now the kings and queens and pet king of this land. No one shall destroy us. We are the beasts. Bring on anyone who tries to kill us.